The desert outside their small town was not an empty place to Matteo and his younger sister, Sofia. It was a kingdom, ruled by ancient armored knights who carried venom in their tails. While other kids collected rocks or trading cards, they collected scorpions. Their tools were a long pair of tweezers, a powerful UV flashlight, and a series of clear, ventilated containers. Their mother thought they were locos. Cuidado, mis hijos, be careful. Those alacranes are dangerous, she would call from the porch. But mama, that's why we study them, Sophia would reply, her voice full of earnest logic. To know which ones are truly dangerous. Under the cover of darkness, their hunt began. This was their magic trick. When Mateo switched on the black light, the desert floor transformed. Hidden under a creosote bush, a bark scorpion glowed with an unearthly, ethereal blue-green light, as if it had swallowed a star. Mira, a centuroides vitatus, Mateo whispered, using the scientific name with pride. He was the cautious collector, using his tweezers with the precision of a surgeon to gently guide the startled creature into their container. Sophia was the scribe, her notebook filled with sketches and observations. Specimen hash 42, found under rock near the wash, very fast, raised tail when approached but did not strike, seems less aggressive than hash 31. They weren't just catching them, they were learning their language. They learned that the large, intimidating desert hairy scorpion had a surprisingly mild sting, while the smaller, slender bark scorpion commanded more respect. They learned about their patience, their hunting techniques, how mothers carried their young on their backs. One evening, their cousin from the city was visiting and, terrified of the desert dark, ran outside without a flashlight. His shriek pierced the night. A small scorpion, startled by the vibration of his feet, was scuttling near the doorstep. Don't move, Carlos, Mateo commanded. He and Sofia emerged from the house with their UV light. Mateo calmly identified it as a common striped tail, its sting no worse than a bee's. Using his tweezers, he gently encouraged it onto a piece of cardboard and carried it safely back into the desert. Carlos stared at them, his fear replaced by awe. You... you're not afraid of them. Sophia smiled, clicking off the blacklight and plunging the scorpion back into invisibility. You don't have to be afraid of what you understand, she said. Their mother, watching from the doorway, shook her head but this time it was with a smile of reluctant pride. Her children were not locos. They were the brave, curious guardians of the desert's most misunderstood secrets.